Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Also guys, if you wanna be a part of the chat box where you'll get exclusive videos, exclusive live streams, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box as well for my paid channel membership, which I call the Chatterbox. And it is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Also, I have a blog where I just chat about all types of dolly things. And it is um, Miss Serenity Smith Babies dot com. And that is it. I am here with baby Drew. And I am going to get this camera from being so super close to him. Um, <laughs> it's just, just thought I would get him changed. I was supposed to get him changed the other day, but that didn't happen. <laughs> as far as he got was a hat and um, some little hand mitts. So, hey guys, where y'all been? <laughs> Y'all haven't did a video with me in so long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, so the chatterbots have seen me. I just thought about it. I was like, oh, I haven't did a video in so long, but I forgot I did do some videos for the chatterbox. Um, but yeah, life gets busy. Um, Y'all know how it go. I have to do his hair. I was going to do his hair, everything. Like, I had all these big plans. And everything just, it just never happened. So, yeah. So anyway, this little boy was um, painted and rooted by me. And that is kind of a little bit what I want to mention a little bit. Um, the difference between the vinyl babies and the silicone babies that I paint. I am starting to feel like. I might do more of silicone babies for a little bit um, just because I am more comfortable rooting the silicone <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy but I feel like I don't have as much control over um, the I know don't worry about this hair I'm gonna fix it I feel like I don't have as much control over the reborns because I have to wait for someone else to root my babies and you know then a lot of times you know even you know when I sell them ball the mommies have to send them off to other artists and stuff like that to root my babies and I just you know I like I don't mind don't don't get me wrong I don't mind but you know and and I will still sell some ball babies sometimes it comes out cheaper for the mommies to get them ball and have them rooted themselves um, then when I do a whole completed baby, cause it just changed the whole dynamics of everything. When I, when, when I sell the baby fully completed, um, how I view it, um, to a certain extent, if that makes sense. Um, then, but when I do the silicone babies, I can paint and root them all by myself. And, um, so the baby will be totally completed by me and... Yeah, so I don't have to wait on, you know, someone else before I can, you know, get them rooted and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just so much, like I said, it's just so much, um, so much easier for me and less frustrating for me because I don't have to wait in no line. It's just like, okay, baby's done. Okay, so now the only person I'm waiting on is myself to get the baby um, rooted. So, let's see if I can get y'all a little bit. I'm trying to make sure I keep him all, you know, all the way in the camera. But sometimes it's a little challenging to get it just right. on y'all hate that. Quick, quick, quick. I hate it. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to put him on... Or another one of his little um, H&M outfits. Now, the one thing I don't really like about the H&M outfit, the um, the onesies, they don't have the flip-ups a lot of times on the little outfits. And I think when babies are this little, they should have the flip-ups. But 
hey otherwise I love their stuff I'm almost inclined to believe that those these are really long compared to I think those are regular size compared to you know like some of the other pants that I've had those look a little longer um I'm wondering, I don't know why they, to me, they just seem so much longer, but I guess not, because I thought he would be able to, I'm opening up another pack, because in the girls that I got, they were, yeah, see, these are, these are about the same, yeah, these are the same, okay, anyway, so, oh, we got to put them, put him on his, um, thing. But yeah, so anyway, I have a couple babies that's nearing completion. Um, I will be finishing up my Cody Bear, um, today, um, as far as his matting and stuff like that. So, um, but you know, again, I can't, I won't be sharing him until he's, or she is rooted. So it's, you know. It's the weight gain. It's the sit and weight gain. So I have, right now I have, I'm going to have probably about three, three or four babies available um, after they get rooted. Um, and then I'm going to be working on silicone. And the silicone babies, I will finish their rooting, of course. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I will finish their rooting and then they will be available. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm pretty much just going to um, put, put the babies up and let you guys know what babies they are as they become available. Because um, I don't want to say I'm going to finish some one baby um next and then my unstable mind go and start working on something else and that baby don't come available because mommies start getting their mind worked up on what babies they're going to go after and then i'll be done switched up and then people get mad so another reason why i don't do customs because i can't stay focused and i know that's that's one of the, the lamest excuses that I have is can't stay focused, um, but it's the truth. <laughs> I really can't. I, I just, you know, I've thrown babies to the side so many times and just been like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to work on his hair because I, I can't take it. <laughs> it's just standing up. So... I usually just, you know, do water. If I put anything in the water, it would be um, a little bit, a little bit of fabric softener. Um, but sometime after a while, you really gotta. Um, wait, I don't think y'all can see his head. Not so much. Let me see. We'll zoom in. We'll zoom into this little booger. I'm up. Turn him a little bit to this way. All right. The one thing, you know, after a while, sometimes you gotta, you gotta wash their hair. Um, even if you're just using just a little bit of fabric softener, the buildup, it just, it'll start to make the baby hair look dull, just like your real kids. If they, they once their hair get dirty. After a while, you just, you gotta, um, you gotta wash it to get the, the shine back. Um, now, his hair is meant to be able to be, you know, like a, just a wave. I like to, um, just mess his hair up a little bit because I like the... I like the baby, the baby messy hair. <laughs> um, 
I did purposely root him to have some type of baby hairs laying down though. So yeah, it's it's you know I'm really actually not hating rooting as much. It just still takes me longer than probably the average person sometimes, depending on the baby size of the hair and the type of hair I'm rooting with, because I just learned I'm um trying out a new mohair right now and I realized that it's taking me a little bit longer to root with that hair than the other hair that I normally root with but not too too bad so we'll see the main thing is I'm trying to I'm hoping that this one will give me a different texture different look so I needed to try it out before I actually put it on someone else or buy more of it um so it's a different vendor that I hadn't used before. So anyway, I normally use um, the same, I've been using the same one, like Drew and um, the Abby and Aspen, they all got the same hair. And a lot of my other babies that had been rooted, they had this same old hair. Okay, all right, baby. So when it dry, it will it will do its natural thing and it'll kind of stay pretty much just like this. It'll look wet still. And I like that. But yeah. So okay. So I just like to give him, like I said, just give him that natural look i don't know like some lately i haven't been able to change none of my babies out when i think about it because i was supposed to change um i was supposed to change uh memphis the other day and that never happened i just gotta make it easy on my back child i can't be studying y'all trying to keep them turned to y'all can see wait he got, and it, you know what I love about this baby? Look at his little feet. He has the cutest little fat little feet. His little feet is fat just like his little legs. His, like, he's little, but he got some chub to him. And he is, his proportions are nice. So, I like that. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I can't wait till I can get to work on these other babies. I actually um, had a real newborn at my house that's only a couple weeks old. And I was able to take so many pictures for um, his mom, but, and he was born a little preemie, a little bit preemie, a little early, not too, too early. And um, like he went right home, normal time. That's how it was just, just enough for him to be called preemie. And, um, so he was only like seven pounds, I think, when he was over here the other day. So I was able to see, refresh my memory with the newborn. And I'm like, oh man, I need to get this stuff into, you know, one of the babies when I paint. My daughter like, mom, these babies are real babies. They're not like science projects. Um, but yeah, I was like so excited and, um, it just, it refreshed my memory, but I'm so excited to work on the next, you know, full body silicone baby so I can try to implement some of that stuff in them and stuff. I'm just, I'm so excited about painting um, and sharing with you guys. I just can't wait um, to just, you know, just go at it and just be free in my, um, in my work and see what happens and hopefully I can deliver something really, really nice. But um, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. And then um, I forgot, it was something else I was gonna tell y'all. Oh, I did take Baby Drew out <laughs> um, recently and someone seen them and they were like, oh my gosh. They was like, I don't want to. <laughs> they were like, I don't want to touch touch him because he looks so real. I can't believe it. And um, so that was pretty cool. I thought that was nice. 
but you know you just it's just the 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 fun 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 of these babies are just endless the next couple babies that I have coming out is in Reborn as well is going to be um, a little a little different too. Um, you what you got going on? It's going to be um, a little bit different from my standard colors and stuff like that. Um, even if only I can tell that they're different. I was just happy that I'm able to, I'm kind of breaking into some different little skin tones and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. So I'm exploring. Oh my gosh, guys, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I don't want to make this video super long. Bye.